author fan face off. We've got one great author, one huge fan. Picked a book by that author, and we're going to find out who knows it better. I'm Steve Shankin, and my co host is, of course, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Woo! And our guest today, thank you, Max, for jumping. Max <laughs> Failure. All right, well, so we're going back to 2015 now for the very first Last Kids on Earth. Is that going to be a problem? Yes, a huge. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> All right, well, Stacey will introduce your, your worthy opponent today. Yeah. This is Carter. He is a sixth grader from Louisiana. He loves to run, run to win, and he loves Mortal Kombat and has watched every season of Last Kids on Earth. I only watched the first movie last night for the first time, and he has read every one of the books. So I know. I got I to gotta catch up. <laughs> Insulting. So Carter, I think he's super fan, and um, like he said before we even started, this was his favorite book. So, I uh, you're ready, right? Let's go. Okay, you got the first question, Car Carter. I think you can do this. Jack was in this store when he first battled the monster Blarg. What store was he in? CVS. Yeah. I knew that one to, just to put it out there. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. All right. I think you're going to know this one, Max. They're, they are easy in the beginning. Where has Jack lived since the monster apocalypse began? Uh, the treehouse? Wait, Wakefield? It, the treehouse and Wakefield. Yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I had it. So Wakefield is, um, was the town one over for me when I, where I grew up. And so that's where the name Wakefield came from. My town. My town was Reading, and um, but it spelled like Reading, and it was confusing. So I didn't use my town name; I used the town one over. Ah. And um, when we moved there, there I moved there in the middle of third grade, and there were all those signs around the school about like how like reading is like fundamental, and like reading's reading is the greatest. And I thought there were signs about our town and my school. And I went home to my parents, and I was like, "This place is so weird." <laughs> um, and, and then I had a, my dad and I built a treehouse in my backyard, and that that was like my like. My sanctuary. That's where the treehouse came from. In last kids. All right. Our second they, treehouse book. Yeah. All right. Go. Yeah, they start to get harder as we go. But Carter, what did Jack and Quint call? They build that special car. Remember, or post-apocalyptic ride, as they call it. What do they call their car? What do they name it? Big Mama. Yeah. Big Mama. Oh. Correct. <laughs> All right. And another name question for Max. What is the name of Jack's pet monster? Rover. Correct. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Strong okay. out of the gate. All right. And our uh, third name question. This is for you, Carter. I think Jack is convinced he needs to rescue this damsel in distress. Who is it? June Del Toro. Big crush. Big crush. All right. Um, I thought that this was this had me laughing out loud, Max. What do Jack and Dirk give Quint for his birthday? Jack and Quint. Oh, Carter's uh, given it. Uh, <laughs> Carter's given a hint. Oh, Shereen. wait. Oh, the ping pong table. I wouldn't have gotten it. I was thinking. I was picturing. So I, I was picturing like the part where they do the surprise, like the birthday party, and as like they'll like get, is like they'll have some of the zombies. And it's like thank you. I wouldn't have done that. So I would. I would have been. I would have had the wrong answer. Thanks, Carter. Yeah. yeah, Carter, you could have stolen that. You want, you want, you can put it down as a loss for me if you want. No, no. <laughs> it's All still right. tied. Um, we're still going strong, Carter. All right, a lot of inventions in these stories. That's probably my favorite part, the inventions they come up with. So this zombie scaring invention is made of an iPhone, a loudspeaker, and an egg timer. What is it? The screen machine. Ah, no hesitation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolute. That's still like my favorite of all oh. the invent. I <laughs> thought I would like easily come up with a whole bunch of those throughout the whole series, and then like that is still my favorite one. And yeah, kind of like, yeah, oh. very clever. One of my favorites is the football launcher. The football launcher is sick, right? I love that stuff. I think the what there's they they have a like quaint carry dirt carries one, I think, right? And there's also one on the back of the boom carts at one point. All right, launchers. Max. Jack tells June that he has the best. The best boy smell. How does he achieve this smell? What is it? Uh oh. <laughs> These are getting harder. Yeah. Um, he rubs oh, a car, car air, car. air, 
Carter, my man. He loves a car air. He rubs a car air freshener on him, but I don't know it what the scent of it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh I think you have some help. Look across across the aisle. Stomach hat? Oh, Beard? I where you know, I know where. All right, Carter. Let's Santa Claus? Help him out. Yeah. Carter, tell, how, how, what is it? Santa. It sounds like Santa? Yeah. Well, you, you said a specific, it's a specific kind of air freshener. Oh, it's like a uh, Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Carter, <laughs> my man. Carter's keeping you alive. I would be, be drafting here. We've never had charades on our show before, so this is awesome. All right. I mean, it's it's very close, thanks to uh, thanks to Carter keeping your game. partner over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I open up the book and put it on my lap? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, Carter. Let's see if you got this one. While trapped in the school building, June lets out her frustration by hurling these at the zombies. Oh no! forgot but i'm gonna say chairs Not chairs a lot smaller than a chair something that you throw we should help him because he's been helping oh i had it wrong too i was gonna help, i was gonna like bring us out help him out it would be the wrong thing so. <laughs> it's a launcher max do you know yeah uh tennis balls oh i thought you were gonna charade it oh darn it <laughs> I have two ping pong figures next to me behind me too. <laughs> I'm gonna get the ping pong thing right. All right. And then uh, Max, Jack's license to kill monsters is written on this. Why? <laughs> Why did I, get this one? I just did another. I just did oh, a gag, gag to this in the new book, in the next book. Um, it's written on it's the bat it's a, a scrap of paper and is there a steal option what is it <laughs> you want to steal yeah, yeah. oh yeah he can steal. <laughs> yes steal it's a denny's a card it's pretty funny <laughs> it's good stuff I had that like I realized I like, I just sent the manuscript this morning for the next book to my editor like the final done version um, for it to get laid out and then illustrated and I have like a very similar gag I kind of forgot about that and I might need to go in and play with that there's also a, there's also a separate Denny's joke in that book <laughs> about ordering a picture menu about like not ha like if you can have the photos of all the food um, so I have to text my editor when it's done. You were helping out. All right. So there's been a lot of back and forth action, but we are tied again. So, all right, I'll start with this bonus question. And if you think you know the answer, just raise your hand or hit the buzzer that we've placed in front of you. Relax, listen, and we'll get ready to jump in. Jack calls his baseball bat weapon by this name. Yes. Louisville Slicer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Carter, I, I I might have an extra in my garage. Well, I'm in my garage, but I might have an extra in another part of my garage. If I do, I'll send you one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was expecting one of the questions to be what was Barg's name. Blark's name is Blark. 